Yo, 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 Hello everyone, I'm Vinay Uppal and I'm back with a question from the Pathfinder series. This question is from Laws of Motion, Objective, question number 7. So I'm just going to read the question once. A lot of you may have already solved it if you've done the objectives of Pathfinder. But I'm going to show you a very short solution that you may or may not be aware of. So let's have a look. A small metal ball is being pulled gradually on a fixed frictionless hemisphere as shown in the figure. The radii of the ball and that of the pulley are much smaller than that of the hemisphere. As the ball slides from the bottom to a position close to the top of the hemisphere, how do the magnitudes of the pulling force F and the contact force R between the ball and the hemisphere change? As this ball moves upwards and obviously the angle of the string will change, how does the pulling force change in order to keep the ball moving slowly. Now that is uh, the key point here, pulled gradually and that means that the acceleration is zero. So that's the key point in this question and they've given some options whether F increases, R decreases. So R is a normal force, R is the normal force here. So They've given some options whether F decreases, R decreases. So we, we have to figure that out. Let's have a look. I'm just going to change the variable slightly. I'm using R for the radius and I'm using N for the normal force. If I just look at the force diagram, I have a force F along the string acting as a tension on this particle. Then I have a normal force along the radius. So I'll have F N the normal force and mg. So these are the three forces acting and the resultant force on this ball is zero. So this is the FPD that I have drawn. Now if the resultant of these three forces has to be zero, then they should form a closed triangle. You should be able to see that this triangle has to be similar and by similar I mean mathematically similar the triangle here. The force F once again I am repeating force F is along the red line, the normal force is along the purple radius and gravity is along the vertical which I have basically using, I am using this as the blue line for denoting the gravity direction. And now it is simply a case of comparing the ratio of these forces to the respective lengths here. So if you notice the ratio of the force to gravity that should be equal to the ratio of this red length to the blue length. Now because the height h is a constant, since this length is decreasing as the particle goes up, the force will also correspondingly decrease. So force is going to decrease and similarly the ratio of the normal force to gravity will be equal to the ratio of the radius to the height but since both are constants, the normal force also has to be a constant. So normal force will remain unchanged. And I have simply written the relation for all the three forces compared to the lengths. So if I just go back to my question, force will decrease and the normal force which is denoted by R here and I used N, that remains unchanged. So a very simple zero calculation solution using the concept of the vectors. I hope you guys have understood this solution. That's it for today. See you guys. Good night.